Hey everyone, so today's makeup look is a look I did for my new passport. My old one expired and my old picture was like kind of gross in my opinion. My eyebrows, what was happening, I don't even know. So since I had to take a new photo, I thought I would film the tutorial for you. So first off, I am just pinning back my hair with my awesome headband. You guys will remember this if you've been watching me since like the beginning of my channel. And then I'm just starting my makeup by priming my skin. And the makeup look I'm going for today is basically just full, like full coverage, flawless makeup, but I'm trying to still look like myself, you know, because I don't want to get pulled into a room at the airport and get interrogated because someone thinks it's a complete different person. So it's kind of like full coverage, natural me, but you know, I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Who knows? I'm using my favorite foundation, which is NARS Sheer Glow in a flat top face brush, but it's a beauty to buff this out all over my skin until I'm happy with the coverage. Remember the picture, well in New Zealand anyway, the picture is black and white, so it doesn't matter too much like what colors you use. I'm just keeping very, very, very natural with the whole look. Well, not natural, natural, but like natural colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so confusing. I'm just making sure to conceal any like acne blemishes and stuff on my skin so that I look nice and flawless. Using that word a lot, can you tell? And then I'm using Stay Don't Stray under my eye concealer just so it doesn't crease throughout the day because I still wanted my makeup to look nice all day. You know how it is. And then I'm also using some LA Pro Conceal just to cover up my dark circles and also highlight my face a little bit too. Like always, I am setting my foundation with a powder, um, just with a big fluffy brush. And by the way, I'm taking my own photo at home. I don't know if you can do this in every country, but in New Zealand, you can upload your own passport photo, which is amazing because you can make sure you look good in it, you know? And to set underneath my eyes, I'm using this concealer by Bare Minerals, Summer Bisque, I think it's called. It's not quite as intense as Well Rested. It's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more natural on my skin tone. For my face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury contour shade from this little duo and my face definer brush by EXO Beauty. This face look, well, what I'm using on my face, sorry, is basically what I'm using on my eyes as well, minus the blush. You'll see what I mean soon. The blush I'm using is by Chanel. It's a really pretty, natural, warm shade of a blush, which just looks, as I say, really quite natural on my skin tone. And then after I've buffed that on my cheeks, I'm using the Laura Mercier Highlight 01 powder just to highlight my cheekbones. And as I said, I'm also using this on my eyes. So you'll see what I mean soon. The statue in a marble block He's in love with the girl that time the eye look is super super easy, simple and natural, so I am just going to let you guys listen to the music for a moment. Once I've done all my powders, I'm just spraying a little bit of the Urban Decay Finishing Spray and then moving on to my mascara. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just ignore me. <laughs> I had to add these lashes. They are so, so pretty for a natural look. They look like nothing. You won't notice until I show you the before and after. But once you put them on, they just transform your eyes into something amazing. Like have a look in one moment after I stick them down any moment now. Like check that out, it makes such a big difference. These are called the Stunner by EXO Beauty and they are an essential. <music> 
I'm using a small amount of Black Track by MAC on my tight line just to thicken up the appearance of my lashes and I find this does not transfer onto my waterline. And then on my lips, I'm obsessed with this little duo. This is Skimpy Lip Pencil from Colourpop. You can see how pretty that looks alone, but I wanted it to be a little bit more natural, so I'm adding a touch of pink. And that is the completed makeup look. So I still look like myself, but I feel a lot more confident to take a photo in this kind of makeup look. Because, you know, I'm going to be stuck with it for years, so I want to look good. <laughs> so let's see how I did. Here's my before, like you saw at the beginning of the video. Wasn't too happy with that one. Quite upset. And that's the photo I took. And then here's how it looks in my passport. So I have to say, this is probably the first ID, which I'm actually happy with how I looked. I'm very, very, very pleased. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial that's actually inspired by my nails. And I also show you how to get this hairstyle as well because it's super easy. So I just put it in this video as like a two-in-one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This makeup look is super pretty, super pink, super fuchsia. I love it a lot. To begin my hair, I'm just starting by brushing any 